Obviously Spain and Japan with three points goal difference obviously heavily favouring Spain after that result. As for Germany though, they'll be out unless they get at least a point versus Spain if Japan beat Costa Rica on Sunday. Realistically, Germany needs a win. Let's talk to Archie and Tut about this. It's interesting, Archie, that Frank just said Germany are going to have to come out and have to attack Spain because you were just talking about their mindset, saying that you think that they weren't so confident in this game that we saw them in today against Japan. They were. That, that's been yes, said Kate. by... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got, I've got ahead, Archie. Uh, th no, they, that, that's been said by, by Ilke Gundogan as, as well in, in terms of that they were lacking conviction in, in the way that they play. And yeah, I think Frank is right in that they, they have to go after Spain. And look, high pressing is at least something that Hansi Flick wants from his players. The question is, are this group of players going to be able to band together in that short space of time and come up with the kind of performance that they need against this Spain team? On, on the positive side, I've checked only four of the of the 11 uh, that started that 6-0 drubbing at the hands of Spain played against Japan. So there's at least not too much collective memory within this team of that result. <laughs> that said, I think it's, it's slim pickings for, for positives right now. Uh, at least they did create the chances. That, that is something. But I think, yeah, it's about how can they prioritize somebody like Jamal Musiala, who right now on his day is, is a world beater. It's just, yeah, he, he doesn't stick away the chance, for example, today. And I think that, yeah, that, that ended up being symbolic of what was a, a dark day for German football. Luis, what happens if Germany high press Spain? No, of course, uh, I, I expect them to, to go for the game. I mean, they cannot uh, allow to, uh, to the uh, Spanish uh, players to, to have the ball, to turn, to, to be creative. creative. And uh, you've seen today the speed of the ball, it was uh, magnificent, trying to uh, frustrate uh, the Costa Rican players. And that's the way that they're going to try to do against Germany, of course. I'm expecting a, a, a better Germany than what I've seen. Yeah, very good 45 minutes, but in the second half, they, they went down. They allowed uh, Japan to believe, and that's what you cannot allow at the moment. With the confidence they have, with the players that they have, they can do so many rotations. I'm, I'm not expecting, for example, to, to start Rodri against, against Germany because uh, for today was a, a little bit about uh, overrun the Costa Rican players in the middle, have uh, over a lot of players. And I think it was um, uh, Craig, the one who was mentioning that they need an extra player in the middle of the park. And definitely, I think that they're going to need it. If they don't bring Goretzka with Kimmich and Musiala to try to work uh, surrounding uh, Rodri or Busquets, Gavi and Pedri, definitely they're not going to have any chance. Because if these players got on the ball, you've seen it. They have so much confidence on the ball. They create, they link in between them. And the movements that they, they manage to do they start uh, creating spaces. That's why I think this Spanish side is so difficult to control. If they, you, that, you put not uh, good pressure, good intensity, you're not going to have any chance. To answer the question, I don't think Spain will change, and it's one of the reasons Unai Simon is in goals, because, uh, which sounds strange, but he's a risk-taker, risk and he's good, good with his feet in terms of a goalkeeper. Now, back definitely in the... well rested after today. <laughs> <laughs> now, back in the day, Frank and I would have passed it back to Shaka, and if he didn't kick it as far up the field as possible, there'd have been a fight. But that's not how we play now. So if Germany pressed them, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. It, that's true. That's it, true. It was like back there, and it was lumped up the field, and you squeezed up. But the game has changed, and, it, and, and people say, "Oh, David de Gea has been playing great," and blah blah blah. But Unai Simon, it's the balance of what he brings as a goalkeeper and what he brings by uh, defenders and midfielders playing it back to him under pressure and him taking chances. He's said himself, the Spanish goalkeeper, that he's not going to change. He will continue to take risks. He's made some mistakes. And let's see how that plays out against Germany. But if Germany press, that's what Spain will do. They'll go back to Unai Simon and they'll try and play through that press. Archie, what's the status then of Leroy Zane ahead of Sunday's game? And tell us, Germany aren't going out in the groups again, are they? So there's no further news on, on Sane's knee injury right now. I think that he was a player that they missed and that forced that rejig from Hansi Flick. I think a, a, another worrying element that I've just thought of as well, <laughs> it seems to be a whole list of them for Germany <laughs> right now, is just how poorly they coped with 
Japan's tactical change at halftime, going to a 3-5-2, and the way that they went to, to press them man-to-man, like that, that, that sort of intensity is something they're going to face again from, from Spain, uh, as, as Luis has been detailing. So, yeah. Uh, right now, Kay, I think Germany are going home. No, you think about the German fans, how despondent they are tonight. And then you've got to think and share a thought for Derek Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend and colleague who was on the call for clean. the host broadcaster here in the US. <laughs> Germany game. They, you know how he loves Germany. He was all pumped up for it. And then they go and blow it <laughs> in the second half. How's Derek feeling in his hotel tonight? Mm. More importantly. Uh, very <laughs> important. <laughs> Do you know what? You know how much he loves Germany. I know. He, he, we had a good translation about it. Uh, about every. Uh, every, every <laughs> I don't but know how would, he's going to cope. We call. wouldn't want anyone else on the call. It uh, 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 is no. fair to say. Absolutely. Anyway, we're going to let Archie and Louise go to sleep and uh, dream of All what's right. going to happen on Sunday. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.